The Nothing Phone 2. What's new? Is it better? And how much is it? Let's check it out. And actually, one of the new things about the Nothing Phone 2 starts with the unboxing experience. You still have the tear away tab, which I wasn't a big fan of with the first one, but I like it that this time around, they included a box inside the outer packaging in case you want to resell the phone in the future or hand it down to your relatives. Aside from that, the contents are pretty much the same. The phone itself, documentation, the SIM ejector tool that kind of looks like a pill, and the charging cable that also has a nice touch as well, making it match better with the Nothing brand. Unboxing out of the way, let's talk about what's new with the phone itself, kicking things off with the design. At a glance, nothing much has changed with the Nothing phone. If you like the look of the previous version of this device, then there's a good chance that you'll like the look of this one as well. The glyphs are still on full display, which we will talk about later on, with a clear glass back that kind of gives you a peek of the internals of the phone, even though it really doesn't. The change here is with a slight curve that the back cover now has that makes it sit a lot better in the hand since it's gentler with its so-called pillowed glass back. That's the company's words, not mine. Again, not a huge change that will wow you, but a nice touch that improves how it feels while you're using it, especially since the middle frame is thinner as well, so it's less chunky to hold too. Another change to the Nothing Phone 2 is they literally double down on what makes this phone unique, the glyphs. If you saw the video from MKBHD, then you know that they went from 16 LEDs on the back of the phone to a total of 33, so one more than double. But they did add some features to make the glyphs less of a novelty. You can now set specific zones to alert you to certain apps to lessen distractions while you work with their essential glyph notifications. And for you titos and titas out there that want to relive the glory days of making your own ringtone, they now have a glyph composer as well. The most useful addition, however, is the glyph timer. So if you really want to zone in on work but want some sort of progress bar, then you will have a visual indication of how much time you have left on the back of the Nothing Phone 2. Again, like MKBHD said in his video, if you're a fan of the Pomodoro method, then you might find this useful too. Now for me, the biggest change to the Nothing Phone 2 is with its internals addressing one of the biggest pain points that a lot of people had with the previous version of this phone. We're getting a lot more power under the hood of this device since it is equipped with a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, a huge leap from the 778 of the Nothing Phone 1. Our unit is paired with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. There is a listing for a base model with less RAM and less storage, but I think for us here in the Philippines, we're only getting this and the top end version with double the storage capacity. We'll talk about price later on. But in terms of raw computing power, we're definitely getting a lot more with the Nothing Phone 2. As for the battery, 4,700 milliamp hours, 45 watt wired charging, and they say you'll get a full charge in 55 minutes, 15 watt wireless charging, 130 minutes to full charge, and it's also capable of 5 watt reverse charging just in case you need to top up a friend in need. For me, those are the biggest changes or even upgrades depending on how you look at it. Given I've only spent a few hours with the Nothing Phone 2 so far, but I'm excited to try out the cameras as well. Dual shooters on the back, 50 megapixel main and a 50 megapixel ultra wide, which they also say has better AI this time around. So I'm curious to see what the output will be like. Now for video, 4K 60p at its maximum. Now we're also getting a good bump up with the selfie camera, which is now at 32 megapixels up from 16 megapixels. So that's another aspect where they doubled up. You're also getting a really good display on the Nothing Phone 2. If you know me, if it's an OLED panel, it's almost an automatic thumbs up. We got a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus OLED display, 120 hertz refresh rate, of course, and it just checks all the boxes on my end. Great colors, HD playback on Netflix for those of you who want to kill time in traffic or on the toilet, and Gorilla Glass protection, though they didn't say what kind of Gorilla Glass they're using on the Nothing Phone 2, so we'll see. But it does come with a pre-installed screen protector just in case you're curious. Now, honestly, I think everything is on the up and up for the Nothing Phone 2. There is the question of price though, which thankfully I am allowed to mention by the time this video comes out. For the unit that we have, again, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, that's 38,990 pesos. And if you want double the storage, again, 512 gigabytes to be exact, that's 44,990. Now that is a significant bump up compared to when the Nothing Phone 1 was first introduced to us here in the Philippines. But again, 
better hardware, more improvements, but we have to spend a few more days to see if the price tag is indeed worth it. So make sure you stay tuned. Peace.